Hi, I'm Priyanka Vargadia, and today we're talking about scaling machine learning training resources right from Colab notebooks or Kaggle kernels using TensorFlow Cloud. Let's say I'm playing around with a powerful, complex image classification model such as NASNet and training it in Colab. It takes a couple of hours to train with a free GPU that Colab gives me. Also, it may not even be feasible to train on large data sets because the training could go over the free 12 hours window. Wouldn't it be nice if I could instantly scale to train more data on a larger scale and with more GPUs? Also, once you have the model trained, you often need to run multiple experiments to fine tune and optimize the hyperparameters to continue to improve your model. Hundreds of runs are needed sometimes to find the setting that results in best accuracy. If you participate in a competition on Kaggle, you know that often very small accuracy differences separate winners in the leaderboard. This kind of experimentation takes a very long time and a lot of resources. Wouldn't it be nice if you could run all these experiments concurrently using more resources? Well, that's where TensorFlow Cloud comes in. It's a client-side library for training your TensorFlow models on Vertex AI. It provides APIs for seamless transition from local debugging to distributed training and hyperparameter tuning in Google Cloud. You can directly use it from a Colab notebook or Kaggle kernel. It handles cloud-specific tasks, such as creating virtual machine instances and setting distribution strategies for your models automatically. For distributed tuning jobs, TensorFlow Cloud sets up model callbacks to capture model checkpoints and TensorBoard logs automatically. In order to use TensorFlow Cloud, first you need to run the initial one-time setup to make sure the Google Cloud assets are all configured. The notebook is linked below where you create a Google Cloud project, enable Vertex AI services, create a cloud storage bucket, and for hyperparameter tuning, you create a service account. Now, the first big use case of TensorFlow Cloud is distributed training. You can develop and test the models in Colab or Kaggle kernels. To train the model at scale, all you do is use the run function. You can define the parameters in the run function to define distribution strategies, requirements, custom Docker image, master and worker configs, and you can even monitor training from Colabs using TensorBoard. Now, the second big use case for TensorFlow Cloud is to execute distributed hyperparameter tuning jobs. For that, you have the Cloud Tuner API based on the familiar Keras Tuner API, which defines tuning parameters for your hyperparameter tuning jobs that are executed concurrently on Vertex AI. In the Cloud Tuner API, you can define the distribution strategy, the custom modules in requirements.txt, the Docker image, and the number of concurrent tuning jobs you want to run. There you have it. We just learned how to scale machine learning training resources using TensorFlow Cloud. Now, I'm sure you're excited to see how it works. Watch the suggested video that comes up on the screen or try it yourself using the GitHub samples linked below. And if you have any questions, reach me on Twitter at pvergalia.